G'day legends, Aaron here from As Ventures Australia. So yesterday I just got back from uh, Kosciuszko National Park, doing a little bit of remote touring with some friends, um, working on some old huts. But as you can see, the car is filthy. So today I thought I'd do a how-to video on how I clean my Ford Ranger. Um, yeah, get a lot of questions on social media um, when I whip out the snow foam cannon and people asking me how I get my paintwork so so nice and tidy so it's not tidy but I like to keep keep it clean and um, this is just how I do it so let's go in into the garage and I'll show you the products that I use So for a long time since I've been driving, I've been washing my cars at just the car washes at shopping centers and all over the place, you know, the do-it-yourself ones. But recently I was sent some products from the Automotive Superstore. They sent me a, a snow foam cannon with some of the snow job wash to test out on my car and um, make a video for them, which you might have seen on their website. Yeah, since, since getting this product, I've changed the whole way I, I wash my car. I spend a lot longer now uh, washing my car and detailing it than I used to. I think it's costing me le less money going to the car washes as well. Um, yes, these products can be expensive, but you build them up, they last a long time because you, you're not actually using that much of the product if you follow the instructions. Um, I'll just go through a, a, the products that I'll be using today. First off, I'll be using some heavy duty de degreaser all over the car. Um, my car is filthy. I'll use this as a pre-wash. Pre then I'll snow foam over the, over the top of it with the snow, the snow job um, and the cannon. And then I'll, I'll do a bucket wash as well. I'll, I do throw up on Instagram the snow foam cannon um, working its magic because it looks really cool. It's really fun to use. Yeah, I just really enjoy it. A lot of people think that's the only product I use to get my car so clean, which is not the case. Just a lot, a lot of the time, the in-between stuff is pretty boring. This just looks really good on your Insta story. So, but yeah, for me, since using these products, yeah, it's changed the way I do it. I sometimes use some wheelie clean. This is more um, on my wife's car. It looks really cool. It goes purple. It smells really sweet. And then after I've used the snow foam. I will do a full bucket wash with the Canuba um, wash wax. Um, smells absolutely delicious. And then um, once I've done the bucket wash, I'll use the big green sucker. I was a, I was always a a chamois person, but um, since my wife bought me a big green sucker. I would highly recommend getting one of these, even if you don't use the rest of the products. It's that good. Um, and then once I've dried the car off, I will use um, some Lazy Wax, which just gets my paintwork really shiny. As it says, the Lazy Wax protects quick and easy, high gloss. Um, the, the water just nicely bead off it in the rain. Um, Another question that I get asked a lot on social media when I'm doing my Insta stories is how I get my engine bay so clean. I'll go through that today. Not in too much detail, but you get the point. I do use a lot of degreaser, um, a lot of tire shine. I use Inox or Lanox, um, Lanon spray, um, just to, to coat the insides. You know, I'm trying to prevent as much rust as possible on there. Um, and I think just with WD-40 and tire shine just gets it really popping in your engine bay. Last but not least, um, the snow foam cannon itself. You also need a pressure washer. I just use a Karcher pressure washer, K2 um, pressure washer. From, just bought it from Bunnings. Um, it's not the most powerful one. I think if you go anything over 2,000 
PSI. The foam foams up a lot more and stays on your car for a lot longer. Yeah, so these are a few of the products that I use um, while washing my car. So let's go get into it. All right, as you can see, my car is absolutely filthy. I've got mud just everywhere. It was, we got stuck yesterday, just bogged up to my eyeballs. Um, but yeah, first things first, I'm just gonna gurney down as much mud off it as possible um, in the engine bay as well. So let's get to it. Alright, so there we go. Um, it's still pretty filthy, but I've got the bulk of the mud and dirt off my car. So, next thing I do, pop the bonnet, use a, just a low pressure wash um, just to get the inside wet, and then we'll degrease the engine. So, with my um, heavy duty um, degreaser, I'll probably do a 80-20, 20% 20, um, 20 degreaser, 80% water solution. And I'll just go crazy with it in there. Get as much onto your radiator as you possibly can, you know, keep it as clean as you can. And now we let it sit for four or five minutes, just let it soak in, and then we'll give it a hose down. Another thing that I might mention when washing your engine bay is uh, a lot of people, I don't know, me as well, I've watched a few, fair few YouTube videos on other people washing um, their engine bays and they always say that you always should disconnect your battery. I never have, I never will. I don't believe that it makes a difference disconnecting your battery. As long as you keep a low pressure um, hose, um, just for all your connections and, and everything like that, you, in my opinion, you'll be 100% safe. So let's hose down the engine. Alrighty, yeah, there you go. I don't know if you can tell, but with all the shadows there, but it is spot on. So what I do now is I'll run the engine for 10 or 15 minutes, let the water shake out, go grab the blower, and um, blow out some of the water out of the top of the air box here. And um, I like to let it sort of dry itself out and then we'll hit it with a bit of tire shine and inox. As you can see, it's all pretty dry in there. And now I just go through and I give all this, all the metal bits, a good spraying of Lanox. And then next, we use a heap of tire shine to get that beautiful wet look. So for everyone that's been asking me on um, Instagram, on my Insta stories, how I do get my engine base looking so clean, because it's always so filthy, that's how I do it. There's not really much in it, just a bit of heavy duty degreaser and a lot of tire shine really. There's no big secret to it. Yeah, so, and another thing is I do like to, to clean it, um, degrees it, you know, do all that stuff, put all the products on there before I do the rest of the car. So once I've got the bonnet open, it, like afterwards, I'm not spraying different products all over the car once it's clean. So I'll shut this and um, I'll show you the next step in my process. So my next step in the process because it's all dry again, I'll go go over it um, again just to wet it all down. And then I'll show you a nifty little trick that I've been trying out with um, my degreaser. So lately I've been trying out this. I've been chucking my de heavy duty degreaser into the snow, um, snow blow cannon and do it just the same as the, the, the snow job, but um, with degreaser. And then once I've quickly gone over with the greaser, I'll swap out. I'll put the other pot that I've got ready to go with um, the snow job, and I'll go straight over the degreaser with the snow snow foam. So while that's soaking in, I've just mixed up another pot or snow job ready to go, 
And once it's all settled in, I'll go over it with this and we'll go through that process. I know it's not the most conventional way that they show uh, um, on the Bowden's own products pages, um, but because my car is always so filthy, I'm just trying something different and this just seems to work for me. As you can see, it's pretty fun to do. Now we just let this um, soak in for three or four minutes. What it does is pH balanced, uh, so it doesn't streak. And what it does is with the gravity, it pulls all the, all the leftover dirt and, and dust and that off the car as it pulls it down. So you let it sit for a bit and then we'll go over and gurney it off. Alright, so there you go, as you can see, we're slowly getting there. Um, with each step of the process that I do, you can you can see all these products actually working and, and doing what they're supposed to do. So what we'll do now, get a big bucket, one, one of the Bowden's own sponges, and we'll throw some Canuba wax wash in there and give it a full bucket wash. Let's do it. This stuff is pretty simple. If you just go by the instructions on the back, which is two, two capfuls, um, you can't go wrong. All right, as you can see, we're slowly getting there. Next up, the big green sucker. This just wicks water away like crazy. Oh, well, there you go guys, the big green sucker. Bit more water this thing gets into it. It just is mental, wicks water away like crazy. Highly recommend it. So once you've wiped it down with the big green sucker, it's all pretty dry. The next thing I'm gonna use is the lazy wax. It's pretty shiny. The lazy wax, um, this will just give it that freshly waxed look. It's real simple, just spray on, wipe it off, and then buff it up with the, with the other cloth. That's why I've got two, two cloths. So we just spray it on. And then in a circular motion, buff it around. And then with your, your dry cloth, just give it a buff up with the, the fresh one. All right, so that's the um, second last step in my process. Next up, tire shine. I'm gonna tire shine the wheels and rims um, all inside the guards. I'll also do all the bar work and rock sliders just to give it that all wet look. Just makes it shine, makes it pop, especially for those Insta stories. Let's find some tire shine. So for my choice in tire shine, I just use whatever the cheapest one is. I buy it in bulk, it um, doesn't really matter. I use a lot of it so and it comes off fairly quickly um, the amount that we were out for driving as well and the amount of times I wash my car so now I just go over everything all inside the wheel arches all over the suspension 
rims, tyres, wheel guards, everything. Let's get into it. Well, there you go, legends. Um, that is how I wash my car. As you can see, it uh, ended up quite shiny. Yes, as I said earlier, I was going to the car washes a lot, spending upwards of $50 at a time. Now, I reckon if you had to put a price on it using the different products, it might be 20 bucks a wash um, if you follow the instructions and, and use your, your products as as the instructions say, you can just like spread it out a fair bit and it'll work out quite cost effective um, even if you've got to put a little bit of outlay into it um, but you'll get to learn to, to use the products better and quicker and, and as you can see I'm converted to these these products I never thought I would be but especially owning a four-wheel drive you know it's probably not the most uh, I don't know practical car to, to be doing show and shines in it, on it but yeah I really enjoy it I mean I don't know if I'm doing this the right way or the wrong way but this is just how I wash my car now um, I hope it helps you guys out and you know I'd love to to hear in the comments below how you guys wash your car um, if you do anything differently maybe it'll help me speed up my process um, make it better you know it's pretty good as it, as it is as you can as you can tell but yeah I'll, what I'll also do is I'll leave the link um, in the description where I get the majority of my products from as well um, for all the Bowden Zone stuff. I guess you can you can also check out Bowden Zone online as well through that, their website. I'll leave um, that link in the description as well. But as you can see, you, you go out in the bush a fair bit, you keep it clean, um, you look good, feel good. That's how I feel about my car anyway. So. Hopefully this has helped you guys out and yeah, I'll see you guys on the tracks. Cheers.